Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop and welcome to my channel. So the day in this video we're going to be making some tool holders, holders for my planes. These planes here. So we've got the the router plane, the rebate plane, the plow plane, and then I've got two saw planes. I've got a flat saw and a curved saw. That'll not make any difference but to uh, the actual holder himself. So I've got a rough idea of how I'm going to make them. So I think I'll start with, with this one. Before eh? we start that, I just wanted to welcome all my new viewers and my new subscribers. I have had a uh, substantial amount of views and subscribers in the last two months than in the last year essentially. So I am really, really grateful for years that have seen my channel and seen some value in it and decide to subscribe and for those that are watching my channel and that haven't subscribed like that uh, I really appreciate it the fact that you're viewing my video you know and if you would just do me a wee one and go and hit that subscribe button you know it takes you two seconds to go and hit it and it means a great deal to me most importantly that I see my channel growing, you know. So I man, let's uh, let's get to it and we'll start making uh, the tool holders. So we're gonna start off with the router plane. <coughs> oh, there we go. See, so, I've got a couple of ideas how I'm gonna do the planes. This one, but I'm gonna make a holder that's got a, like some sort of interference fit, so I can just like squeeze it in there. But I, we'll get to this and we'll get this ripped down to begin with. Oh, that fits in there nicely. It took a wee bit of going back and forth, back and forth with it. But it's sitting in there nicely. All right, man. It's different, you know. And um, hi. 
See, I'm not going to do any more of it than that. That is enough. Well, actually, I might, because obviously I can, uh, I can have one in the plane. Um, and then I might draw a wee hole up the tap just to place the other one in it. There we go, man. No bad. Hey, with these ones, um, just going to be really simple. Just going to make like a sort of wee U brace type thing. You know, wee back bit, wee shelf, and just a wee bit here to hold it in place. Now I just need to glue a wee bit on here. There we go. The back bit is a bit thick, you know, it doesn't need to be that thick. Uh, I think I'll I think I'll just rip this in half this bit and we'll glue it up. I'll just let that dry and we'll get a final sand and I'll just fire it on and make another one so this one's a curved one but it's still got that angle so I'll just you know rinse and repeat just do the same thing right so we'll do the plow plane now and what I want to do is we'll create a wee back plate um, and then we'll, we'll we'll have a wee another wee thin bit that's attached to the back plate that the depth stop will sit on uh, and then we'll we'll get we'll cut another bit that's going to be glued to the bolt meter and then i'll just get a couple of wee bits like coming up um just to you know lock it in in this bit so hopefully we can just get it nicely to sit on the depth stop and that should be that should work quite I'm not going to leave it this thick. I will, once it's all glued up, I'll trim all around the edges. I'll trim all around the edges and thin it out, but we'll glue it up like this now. Okay. So there it's all clamped up. Uh, I shall leave it to dry. I'm going to get this one today. Um, and I'm just wanting to make one, just this. Just simple, just sitting on a wee shelf, you know. Make that look a bit better. I'll do something with that tomorrow when everything's dried. Aye. I'll make it look a bit better up here. So, it's the lever right now. So, let them dry all night. And we will proceed to make them look a bit better.
So I've thinned this bit out, but I've kept this bit thick because also this bit's gone in the wall and this shelf here's glued to that bit. So by going in the wall there, this bit will be also supported and it's glued to this bit, so solid. Let's move on to the last one. So. So the one all of you hang I need to do is a wee hole in the back here for this. So I need to sort of eyeball this and line it up but get a wee bit of sandpaper in there. That's looking alright. <laughs> so there is all the holders <laughs> and I made a wee extra bit for this which I'm just going to put like under it and what, what this bit's for is just to hold the extra rods and they'll sit in there nicely so I've bored holes, countersunk everything for getting it uh, ready on the wall the last thing I'm going to do is put one of these wee Neo Dynanium magnet glue that in there and um, just for just for the wee extra protection of holding the plane there then I'm gonna put board linseed oil air everything um and let it dry wipe it and then put wax and everything and then we'll get it up in the wall Hey guys, thanks for watching that. I hope you've enjoyed that. Maybe learned something for it. Maybe got some ideas how to build, you know, some tool holders yourself. Um, my favourite one is is this one. Just for how snug a fit it is in it. You know, it just slides in and pops in, that magnet grabs it. And then the friction fit one as well. Look, that's, a, that's a really cool one too. Look. Um, aye man. Uh, just like... Complete set, you know. Uh, I'm not thinking about moving things about, like putting all my clamps air on this wall, m taking maybe uh, one or two of my things down, like where I've got all my like, measuring devices and things, like my squares and that, and putting them air there, and then getting my my clamps up there. I uh, because I need I need space there here. So, but I man, it's starting to look pretty cool there. I really. I uh, really like the way it looks there now, man. I am I'm very satisfied by the look. And for me, I like to 
I like to have my tools up on the wall so I can see them. It's just something I've always been looked at since the day that I built the workshop. Having my tools up so I can see them. You know, I've got a really bad memory. Um, so, you know, when I put things in drawers, I will forget they're there, you know. And I'll be uh, and I'll need that specific tool and I'll just I'll just completely uh, forgot that I've got it in the drawer. Um the obviously the drawers that I have got you know, that the there is things in it that I know are there. Specific things that I use on the daily, you know, so um and really the things that are in that drawer are things that I don't want to get dusty, you know, so um but I man, so it's pretty cool and I hope that you took some ideas for it at the very least enjoyed the process, you know, so I man, I hope that you are enjoying my channel and if you're no subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button. It takes you two seconds to hit the button and I am, it means a lot to me to see my channel grow. So I man, um, watch out for my next video and I will show you my new table saw and we'll make some sleds with it. I'll give you a wee quick peek to know um, and I'll see you next project guys, alright? Take it easy and God bless guys. And bolt some.